you guys, I'm Brianna, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you guys my book haul. It's a little bit of a smaller book haul. Um, I tried to narrow it down as much as possible because I haven't stopped spending money guys. <laughs> like I spend so much money on books in general but even then like I have so many to read, I need to stop. And I have a gift card for Kindle so like I gotta use that. But yeah, I only got seven books this month. Um, I did get ebooks, so I mean, if you guys want to see like all the ebooks I have or like my ebook haul, just let me know down below. Um, but I think I got about like four or five ebooks this month, maybe six. I don't even know, but I did get a lot. Uh, but yeah, I only got seven physical books, and the eighth one, I'm going to order it, but like it won't get here until March. So I'll explain that first. So if you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with Tilly Cole. Like I just got introduced to her a couple months ago and I just picked up her book in December. I think, I think December. Um, it was the Hayes Hangman series, which I feel like I shouldn't have started with. I should have started with her nice fluffy contemporary and then moved down to like the dark uh, contemporary. But yeah, so Crux Untamed, which is book six in the Hates Hangman series, comes out February 27th. And she doesn't have any pre-order on it. It's like a little bit of different things, but she works with Amazon. So I'm literally ordering it the minute it's February 27th. But Amazon, it's like a two-day, um, I have Prime, so Prime is like two-day shipping. So I won't get it until like March 1st or March 2nd, which I mean, I don't care about. Like I totally am fine with waiting, but obviously I'm going to read it like the minute I get it. Um, but I may want to do a reread of the whole series, even though like I just read it. I got to see how I feel like we'll feel it out. Uh, but yeah, I'm so excited for that book. And yeah, so that's pretty much going to be the only book I think, um, I'll show eventually, but I plan to not get anything in March. I don't think I'm gonna go in April either. I think I'm gonna wait till May because like May, the first two weeks of May are like crazy book weeks. You have um, a, qu a court of something in Starlight. A court of, I don't, I forgot what it is. But Sarah J Mass's like novella of the Aquatar series, which is right here. That's coming out in May, super excited for that. There's a football book coming out in May that I'm very excited about. Um, it's like a YA contemporary, but like new adult style. So excited to read that. So yeah, I think I wanna try and avoid buying books and just go in May so I can stock up cause I'm doing that. And then I'm going on vacation to Florida this year. So we're going to Disney and Universal. So excited again. Um, but there's, it's so bad, like, I go on vacation to go to a bookstore down there. So there's Books A Million, and I think they have a Barnes & Noble down there. I don't remember. I think the Barnes & Noble was small, though, so we went to Books A Million. But Books A Million tends to have different books than Barnes & Noble, which I like. Um, so obviously I go down there and buy a whole, whole bunch of books. So yeah, I'm trying to like wait as long as possible because I know there's a whole bunch of books coming out. Plus I have college, so yeah. But okay, to get to this book haul, the first book I, the first book I got was Moonlight Sins by Jennifer L. Armachow. This is her like new adult, adult, new series. And I think it's just gonna be a trilogy. Um, But the second book of this comes out in April and I think the third book comes out in June. So she's writing them like really fast. But this is a Da Vincent novel. I don't really know too much about this. I think it's paranormal, possibly. Um, or it's like a mystery. I don't really know at all. But it's Jennifer L. Armitrout and I know I'm gonna love this. And I think it's like each brother, um, like the Da De De Vincent brothers. I think there's a whole bunch of them. But I've been hearing great things so far, and I just love her books. Like, I love her so much. So, yeah, totally gonna read this soon, um, hopefully. But, yeah. The next book I got was Sea Change by Amy Friedman. Fried Friedman, yes. I got this from Scholastic, and I just actually finished reading it, so it will be in my wrap-up. I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I did have a couple problems with the ending, so that's my only thing. It just, like... Uh, it just like the ending like ruined it for me but I did give this a four out of five so I was I really did enjoy it and it is a lifetime movie so I'm trying to find it because I really want to see the movie version of this book but yeah it was really good I just feel like there was so much more 
potential um, and she could have done so many different things and I feel like if this was translated to I guess a bigger novel it would have been better but yeah I really did enjoy this the next book I got was Sweet Rome by Tilly Cole okay so you know I have the whole entire Sweet Home series the only reason I didn't get Sweet Rome to begin with was because I thought it was a novella and if you guys know me the other Tilly Cole novella I do babe which is um the wedding one it was literally I think 80 pages and I, I thought this was gonna be like 80 pages so I was like no it's not even worth it I'm not gonna buy it but then I looked it up and I was like oh, it's like over 400 pages I need it so then I bothered my dad and I was like hey dad want to get this off of Amazon Prime so yeah I got this one I did read it um I really enjoyed it and what I really liked about this book is it explored kind of more um than Sweet Home because Sweet Home it definitely ended I loved Sweet Home but this one was like retelling the story it was in Rome's perspective but it also showed a lot about the future so it showed like um like the kids and his career and all that stuff so I really really enjoyed this one just because of that extension of a whole bunch of things but yeah I feel like I don't know it was definitely repetitive if you don't like novellas that kind of repeat um in the other person's perspective I wouldn't recommend this but I liked it even though it was repetitive so yeah I think I gave this a five out of five the next book that I'm so excited to share is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Abertali. Loved this book. So good. Loved it. I just can't. Um, so if you guys don't know, this is Becca, Becky Abertali's first book. I read the second book before I read this one. Don't ask me why. I really don't know. But that's the upside of Unrequited. So I read that in the summer and I absolutely loved it. I think I gave it a five. A four or a five. But this one I gave, I think, a 5. If I didn't give a 5, I gave a 4.5. But I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I just finished reading it the other day. And if you guys don't know, the movie adaptation is coming out, which is called Love, Simon. So my friend read this book, and I was literally, like, in tears. I was like, oh, my God, I can't. Like, this is such a good book. Oh, so good, guys. I love this this follows Simon who is gay and he ends up being blackmailed by this um, kid in his grade that like knows his secret and he's not out yet to his family or friends so this kid wants to go on a date with like his friend so it's kind of like him I guess discovering himself and getting the courage to do a whole bunch of stuff but he, the blackmail was him emailing um, someone named Blue who is also another not out gay person in his school so obviously it's about his story but it's so good and I love the guy that's playing Simon um his name's like Nick something but he was in like Jurassic Park he's been in so many like I guess teenage movies but yeah super excited to go see it I think it's coming out March but yeah love this book I think it's a five out of five the next book I got was The Defiant by Leslie Livingston I just need this book because I loved this first book. The first book was so amazing. And this is book two, so of course I had to get it. Um, but this is a continuation of The Valiant, which is about a female gladiator. Um, I don't really know what to expect out of this book because I read The Valiant back, I think, in January, like last January. Um, so it's been a year, so I have to read that book to refresh my memory and this book. And after reading Blood and Sand by C.B. Wick, I was like, yeah, I, I need this in my life. So I got this one, super excited to read it, and I'm hoping to read it soon. And the next book I've mentioned over and over again, super excited to finally have it in my hands, is Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. I loved this book. I did give it a 4 out of 5 because I had some problems with the... Um, advanced readers copy but I want to see if they changed anything specifically in this book but also I love them and I want to support them um, if you guys don't know Sasha is a booktuber and Lindsay is an author so they co-wrote this book together they're best friends and I just love them they have great personalities and they're just so nice to talk to so very excited plus Sarah J Mass blurbed it on top but this is kind of like a space pirate um, all-female crew so yeah but if you guys have read my goodreads i would read the um 
I guess my review for it. The reason why I gave it a 4 out of 5 was because I felt like it took plot lines from other books. Um, it's If you've read the Queen of the Tearling series, I don't think you're going to like this book because that was a big thing that irked me because the Queen of the Tearling is literally this book, but this is in space. So that was my little thing. I mean, I get it. A lot of books are similar nowadays, but I think that was my main thing. And I think they took something out of Shadowhunters. I don't remember what it was, but I think I'm going to read my review what I wrote again but yeah I really want to read this book I want to support them again and just see this beautiful copy but if you guys I kind of want to show you guys this is their map and oh, it's so pretty I love it so I'm gonna definitely try and read this soon and the last book I got is Broken Beautiful Hearts by Cami Garcia this book loved this book I've wanted to get it as soon as I knew she was um, releasing this book. I think I found out about this maybe last book con. So probably like last June and I've wanted to read it ever since. It's literally like what I read in this type of book. But this follows a girl soccer player who ends up having a terrible accident after she just got admitted to her top school um, for college and for soccer. And she like destroys her day and when I read that I was like that's me because that's what happened to me um but then she goes to a small town in Tennessee I think it's her, like her uncle's farm to kind of recuperate and obviously she meets a guy but yeah super excited and I want to try and read this soon because I wanted to read this oh and L. Kennedy blurbed it I love L. Kennedy oh all this okay so yeah but I'm definitely gonna read this and I'm so happy that it's really big because I love big books but yeah so that's my book haul it's only seven books and you guys already know that I'm getting Crux Untamed which technically counts for February but I'm not gonna have it in my hands until March but yeah so that's it I hope you guys really enjoyed my video and you get some good recommendations from this channel but yeah thank you for watching make sure to click subscribe if you want more uh, content so bye guys <laughs>